tax burden falls on the more inelastic party and here's why. Conceptually, it's because the inelastic party is a little bit more helpless when it comes to changes in price. Whereas the more elastic party has a little bit more flexibility to buy or sell dependent on what's best for them. Graphically though, it all comes down to how inelastic supplier demand curves are more vertical. We've got right here a unit elastic demand curve at a 45 degree angle, but a more inelastic supply curve is a little bit more vertical. First, let's visualize the tax revenue here. To do that, I'm gonna hit this point right here, go down, hit this point, and I know that this rectangle right here is the total tax revenue that the government's earning from selling this good. Now to determine the burden, what I want you to do is pinpoint that original supply and demand point intersection and then go horizontal to the y-axis. Now from here, remember, the top rectangle is the consumer burden and the bottom rectangle is the producer burden. And like we just said before, the more inelastic party here, suppliers share more of the burden of this tax. Their green rectangle right here is a little bigger than the blue consumer burden rectangle. Let's do another example here, except make the demand curve more inelastic. Hey, real quick, before moving on, if you also just need my help with the rest of your class too, go check out my microeconomics cram kit on my website. I've packed together essentially everything that I would tutor you on if I were your tutor in this class. And all my concept breakdowns are free access to you, so you can learn anything you need from me for free. All right, so here's our new supply and demand curves with the demand curve being way more inelastic than the supply curve. We've shifted back the supply curve by the amount of the tax, and then we can start to visualize the tax revenue rectangle. And then from here, remember, identify that intersection point between the old supply and demand curves, and then go across and see where that hits the y-axis. Consumer burden on the top and producer on the bottom. And as expected right here, the consumers in blue right here, their rectangle, their portion of this overarching tax revenue rectangle is bigger. That means that they pay a larger portion of the tax because their demand is more inelastic than supply. All right, that's it for tax burden. Now there's some other elements that we didn't touch on right here, like how to know how far you shift back the supply curve and what's consumer and producer surplus look like. So go check out that microeconomics cram kit that I mentioned if you want me to explain the rest of this class to you.